Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Uh, hello again in our new lesson about always stress placement in two uh, syllable uh, simple English words. Today we will deal with two syllable simple adverbs, right? Which usually right have the same rule of right of verbs. They are usually stressed on the second syllable, right? Two syllable adverbs. They have also a general rule which says that two syllable simple adverbs are stressed usually on the second syllable. Right, the second syllable. Right, like above, like uh, allowed, and so on. Good. Now, yes, we have also here two uh, major rules we need to uh, study and uh, learn to know exactly and in details, all right, where we should uh, place our uh, stress mark, okay, and the right syllable to be stressed. Clear? Now, rule number one says that, right, the second syllable in the two syllable a simple adverb is stressed if the second syllable in this adverb contains long vowel first, like in fa, so I stress here fa, and in the word abroad, broad. O. Oh, the second syllable contains the long vowel O. Oh. Also, if the second syllable in this adverb of two syllables contains a diphthong, like in loud, I have ow, right, loud. So I stress here loud, clear. And in also around, it can be also a verb or preposition, clear. Around. So here ow also I stress round, I stress. Round. Second one also is stressed. Also, in case the uh, second uh, syllable ends with more than a consonant after uh, the vowel. So here also we stress the second uh, consonant, uh, so second syllable, sorry, second syllable as shown here on, on the board. Of course, also this rule has its own exceptions, which are uh, Okay, several exceptions. We need to consider huh, when we uh, place uh, our stress mark. We have also a second rule which says that in two syllable simple adverbs we stress the first syllable, not second, when if the second syllable contains a short vowel plus one final consonant. Clear? One final consonant. The same uh, nearly rule like the verbs. Clear? Consonants as shown in the board. All right, so here we stress the first syllable, or also in case the second syllable in this adverb contains at the end only one uh, or uh, yes, one short vowel, allow without any consonant after it. Clear? After it, like what is shown on the board here. So here also in this case we stress the first syllable. Right, the first syllable, not second. So as you see here. Uh, usually verbs, adverbs and prepositions are also prepositions, clear. They also follow the same uh, rule okay, for uh, verbs and adverbs. They are stressed usually right in uh, or on the second syllable, on the second syllable, clear. So that's all for two syllable simple adverbs. Thank you so much.